uh, today I'll be doing our Twin Flame Weekly. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so this reading will cover uh, today, which is May 20th, up until the 23rd, which is Thursday. So um, let me go ahead and tap into Divine Mask and Collective Energy. First, I will start off with uh, the Energy Oracle Cards. First, we have patience. So I really feel like Divine Masculines uh, is learning to become patient this week. And we have here the number 16, which equals a 7. So uh, they could be um, feeling a little defensive, a little guarded, um, and perhaps, you know, just waiting for the right time to make their approach to their Divine Feminine is what I'm seeing. We also have here door to personal healing and happiness. Okay, and this is a number 34. So again, this equals a seven. And what I'm getting is that Divine Masculines is going to take time this week to heal themselves. And, you know, I've seen that uh, with the energies uh, from Saturday, from what I believe. And I really feel like uh, that is a continuing theme uh, for the rest of this week. And that is a really beautiful energy. I really feel that with patience, they're really taking that time to really heal themselves and honestly this feels really good um i really feel that divine masculines is really putting in the work to work on themselves and you know and deal with their their happiness also and that's a beautiful energy guys all right so let me go ahead and pull from the heal yourself reading cards okay and see what additional information we can get in regards to uh, this patience and door to personal healing and happiness We have family and tribe, okay? So I really feel that Divine Masculines is really, you know, focused on their family and their friends. And what I'm getting with this is that, you know, when it comes to their family, I feel like they are healing their family wounds, okay? And also, I feel like if they are in karmic situations, they're learning to, you know, forgive uh, their their family, okay? Because um, I really feel like um, their karmic situation could be um, dealing with manipulation, control issues, um, feeling like they're being used. Um, not only that, you know, some of them uh, might be in um, like a, you know, kind of like a codependent situation is what I'm feeling. And they're trying to figure out, like, who is their, their tribe? Is it their family? Or, you know, are they spiritually awakened so that they can evolve and find uh, like-minded people uh, in regards to, you know, their, their higher self is what I'm feeling. And, you know, that is why <clears throat> they are healing at this time. And they're really trying to figure out, you know, what truly makes, you know, them happy is what I'm feeling. 
We also have help from above, okay? And this is a number 27. You know, again, I really feel like, you know, Divine Masculines is receiving help, okay, from the angels, you know, from Source, from Universe, um, and all the external, um, you know, powers that, you know, your Divine Masculine is calling in to. And I really feel like <clears throat> with the passing of this full moon, they have really... Uh, tapped into their emotional feelings, okay? I really feel like in the past they were blocking their emotions, but now they're learning to, you know, uh, release that block is what I'm feeling because we have here patience. Your Divine Masculine is learning to be patient, okay? I really feel that because we have here the number 16 and, you know, I really feel like <clears throat> they were being guarded. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. My throat chakra is... <laughs> you know, they're feeling really guarded. Um, and I feel like now they're, they're softening up their stance, okay? And, you know, they are planning, okay? They are planning to make things right with their Divine Feminine, but they know they have to truly work on themselves, okay? That is what I'm saying. So these are really beautiful energies that are coming through for, for this week. I honestly feel that Divine Masculines is really healing themselves. <clears throat> I really see that. So, you know, guys, that is beautiful. You want your Divine Masculine to really work on themselves first before they can approach you. Even though that, I really truly feel that more than anything, your Divine Masculine wants to come towards you, but they know they're not ready yet. Okay? That's the feeling that I'm getting. You know, let them heal. Alright? <clears throat> so... How's Divine Masculines currently thinking of their Divine Feminine? How are they thinking of their Divine Council? How are they thinking about you at this time? Here we have two of pentacles, okay? So what I'm getting with this is that divine masculines are learning to, you know, provide balance, okay? I feel like in their physical 3D life, they are still juggling, you know, situations, circumstances, and um, anything that is going on. And <clears throat> more than anything, like I said, they want to be with their Divine Feminine, okay? They really do. But I feel like, you know, they're really trying to heal themselves. They don't want to rush forward, okay, and um, make any mistakes. They really want to come in true and correct is what I'm feeling. And <clears throat> they, they really do want to come towards you guys, but... They know that now isn't the right time, okay? And here we have Empress, okay? So the Empress card shows up. They are definitely thinking about you guys. They are thinking about how well you're doing on your own, how you are, you know, um, just making, you know, your, your place in, you know, society. They see that you are glowing and um, they admire you. And I really feel like <clears throat> they are actually constantly thinking of their Divine Feminine, you know. It's like they're working in their physical life, but at the same time, they're, they're thinking of their Divine Feminine. And that's a beautiful energy. And here we have Three of Swords, okay. So what I'm getting with this is that, you know, Divine Masculines are brokenhearted guys. They feel at loss because of, you know, the past choices that they've made, you know, particularly, you know, towards karmic situations and, you know, <clears throat> they're not feeling really good. That is why, you know, they are trying to seek help from above. You know, they're really trying to gain that spiritual strength and really uh, learning to heal themselves for this true happiness, okay? 
So, I mean, this is really beautiful. They know that <clears throat> their current family and tribe is no longer serving them. And they're really trying to see them for who they are. Show compassion, but evolve as that divine masculine that is spiritually enlightened and their family and their tribe are noticing that your divine masculine has changed and um you know they it's like they no longer have that control over your divine masculine okay that is what i'm feeling and your divine masculine i feel is rising up you know from the ashes like a phoenix and um, they're coming back more powerful. They are healed, okay, or healing. And they're going to rise above, uh, like, whatever difficulties that they're going through with their karmic situations. And the karmics, you know, doesn't even know, like, how to, uh, you know, control them is what I'm feeling, you know. I really feel that your Divine Masculine... Will reach some sort of a clarity this week okay they're going to see things from a higher perspective and they are understanding this through patience you know before they weren't uh patient but now they are and in regards to this three of swords you know i really feel like they're healing from the third party situations and they really want to return back to their divine feminine because that is all they're thinking of, you know, um, they're, they're leaving everything behind, you know, I really feel like now your divine masculine knows, you know, what their life path is and, you know, their divine feminine is included in, in that, you know, um, that future that your divine masculine wants, you know, um, for, for their evolution is what I'm feeling. That is a beautiful energy, okay? And here we have five of chalices, okay? Your Divine Masculine was really disappointed of the past. Again, your Divine Other, okay? I feel like they're more emotional this week, all right? Now that the veil is, is thin and um, they're coming into their awareness, they are not feeling very good, okay, guys? I really feel that and they want to make it up to their divine feminine as you can see you know this divine masculine you know is with their divine feminine and this is like a bedroom setting and this divine feminine doesn't look you know very happy she's like looking off to the side you know while this divine masculine is uh, like begging for forgiveness okay and um that is what I'm feeling. Your Divine Masculine is coming bearing with gifts. Okay. And. <clears throat> it looks like Divine Feminine is pushing their Divine Masculines is away. Is what I'm seeing. You know. Divine Feminine is a little hesitant. You know. What's really odd is. I see a face in this. So I guess it's not a bed. It's like a fountain. It's like a wa outdoor water fountain. But in that fountain, there's like a face. Do you see that? And then somehow there's a flame that is floating on top of that water. So, you know, that's what I'm, I'm seeing, guys. That is so weird. Let me read from the book what this Five of Chalices means in this particular tarot deck, okay? I am very curious now. Because that base is creepy. Okay, <clears throat> this card represents guilt, okay? 
The magic of the glowing ember, the weight of the past and its consequences is always remembered, but must be left behind to break overly oppressive attachments. You must open yourself to adventure and freedom. Okay, so you know what I'm getting with this is that your divine masculine was feeling guilty of their past actions. Okay, and they're they're really feeling it this week, guys. I mean, I honestly feel like they are more in their emotional uh, feels. Okay, they're really realizing you know, uh, their actions of the past and they're not, they're not happy and they don't feel good about what they've done. Okay. And they really want to come back towards their divine feminine is what I'm seeing. They know they did wrong, you know, so that is what I'm seeing for today, guys. All right. Next, let's find out how your divine masculine is feeling about you. All right. How does the Divine Masculine Collective feel about you this week? We have past life relationship, okay? You have known each other before. Your Divine Masculine, you know, has come into that awareness that you have like some sort of connection okay you feel familiar to your divine masculine and they now know that this is a past life connection you know you cannot explain this bond that you have between you and your divine counterpart we also have here you deserve love you are lovable, okay? We also got this card uh, on Saturday, all right? And so this is a continuation uh, for this week and how they're feeling towards their Divine Feminine. They know that you deserve love, and I really feel like they want to offer that to you. But first, they must learn to love themselves first. They must heal themselves, okay? And feel good about approaching their divine feminine so that they can offer that love towards their divine other all right and here we have flirt again you know this was also uh on saturday so you know your divine masculine definitely wants to be a little more light-hearted okay yeah, extend your lighthearted energy to others, and they just want to be flirty. They just want to make things light. They miss, like, having, you know, just, you know, fun conversations with you, just being playful, and um, they really miss you guys. I really feel that, you know, but deep down inside, they know that they hurt you, okay, and more than anything, they hurt themselves, and, you know, that whole karma issue with your divine masculine, they're feeling it now, guys, okay? They're going through it, but I feel like it, it's a, its almost at the end, all right, guys? You know, so just give them the time and space for them to heal, and I truly feel that they will come back correct, okay? Because they are really thinking about you, all right? <laughs> and here we have true love, all right? This is a romance of a lifetime. Your Divine Masculine knows, okay, that this is true love. They have never gained this type of love from any other person, okay? They even probably, you know, tried to leave the connection because you gave them an ego boost, right? Telling them how handsome they are and, you know, how wonderful, you know, they are. And, you know, and they thought that, oh, well, you know, my Divine Feminine thinks I'm awesome and amazing. You know, let me go ahead and, and see if if I can, you know, get the same from other people. And they probably left the connection, right? And tried to see if they can get, you know, more uh, of the same actions from other people. And they're, the karmics are like, yeah, yeah, you know, or they, they don't even come close. And then, you know, they probably hit it and quit it. And that was it. There is nothing more to it than just that. Because once they interacted with their with your divine masculine, the feeling wasn't the same. Okay, I guarantee it. You know, and your divine masculine, no matter how much that they have ran from this connection and tried to, you know, get that same, 
you know, uh, emotional feeling, okay, um, you know, physically, mentally, spiritually, whatever the case may be, they couldn't find that from anyone else. They failed to realize that you are their true love. You are their twin flame. Okay, there's only one of you, not multiple. <laughs> and they thought that they could get it somewhere else. But you know what? You know, that connection with their divine feminine, you, you can't you can't replace it. I'm sorry. You know, sorry to burst their bubbles, but you know, you cannot replace that because they are the same soul as you, okay? There's only one. And I feel like now they finally come to realize that they know, right? Deep down inside they know, but they were probably in denial, all right? So that is how they're feeling. They know that you are their true love. All right. So what are the actions, okay, that your Divine Masculine is going to take this week, all right? So these actions, you know, are things in the physical, okay, in the 3D what are some of the things that we can expect from our Divine Masculines this week in the physical? What are the actions that they're going to take towards their Divine Feminine? Again, we have two of Pentacles, guys. They're, they're balancing things out. They're juggling, okay? I really feel like, you know, their present 3D life is a little bit rocky, okay? It's not stable. And they're trying to balance themselves out, guys, okay? So give them that space and time to do so. We have here a King of Swords, okay? There could be some communication, but also I feel like your Divine Masculine, you know, um, might be cutting some people, places, and situations and things out of their life this week, okay? Like, they're not taking any bullshit from anyone, okay? They're going to be very clear. They're going to be truthful. They're going to be honest. And now, okay, they're stepping up their game and, uh, you know, coming in with integrity, okay? They no longer, you know, is including or inviting anything that is not serving them, all right? And they they seem to be a little bit more serious and reserved is what I'm feeling. You know, they could be a little bit clouded, you know, with their situation, but I really feel like your Divine Masculine, instead of doing things uh, very quickly, I really feel that they are taking their time and learning patience um, and dealing with, you know, things that are going on in their life is what I'm feeling. They're, they're really asking for spiritual guidance at this time, guys, okay? So, I mean, uh, th that's a good thing, this is what I'm seeing, all right? And here we have Nine of Cups. Your Divine Masculine is going after their wish fulfillment, okay? I really feel that they really need to balance themselves. They need to become more clear. They need to remove things out of their life in order for them to achieve this Nine of Cups energy, okay? That is that is their game plan for the week, guys. Um, you know, I really feel like they just need to be more stable, okay? So let them uh, work on themselves. And I really feel like, you know, um, they are also practicing, you know, self-love. I mean, this could be self-indulgence, but I really feel like your Divine Masculine really needs to gain that confidence to uh, really remove, you know, anything, you know, in their life that is a block or obstacle for them is what I'm feeling. And finally, we have your death. Okay, so, you know, we just had uh, the full moon in Scorpio. I feel like that is a, a continuing theme for this week. Your Divine Masculine is putting an end towards things, okay, so that they can transform and prepare themselves, you know, for the future. They want a new beginning, guys. Like I said, I just feel like, you know, they have died and risen from the ashes and, you know, like a new Divine Masculine is being reborn is what I'm feeling. And, you know, this is that week. 
I feel like this is transformation week is what I'm feeling. And, you know, that's, that's what I'm saying. And if you are in, in communication with your Divine Masculine, you know, just, just be quiet, guys, okay? And make observations on your Divine Masculine and see if energetically they are changing, okay? Learn to be observant, okay? And not talk too much. And just like, you know, see how their actions are, even their words, listen to them, you know, very carefully. When you learn to listen and don't like talk, you start hearing so much more. That is when your intuition kicks in, okay? You, you know, you start to pick up a lot of things, you know, because if you are the argumentative type, you might miss a lot of information, guys. Trust me, I know. <laughs> I really know, you know, I can, I, I can actually, you know, pick up energies from, you know, text messaging, okay, I don't have to talk to anyone, um, you know, to get like an energy or a vibe off of, you know, what they're doing or, or, you know, what their words mean, you know, it could be two words, and I'm like, oh, okay, well, I'll just leave it at that, and, um, I can see you're busy, you know, <laughs> you know, and, um, you can, you can really, um, you know, get a feel for their, um, emotions or actions or what they're going through. Okay, guys, learn to be observant, but, you know, honestly, this week, your divine masculine is going through a transformation. That is why they're, they're trying to find the balance first. This two of pentacles comes out here twice. Okay, that's a confirmation. They are juggling right now. They're trying to become more balanced. So, I mean, overall, I mean, those are some really uh, good um, energies, okay, coming through for your Divine Masculine, all right? Now, what are the current blocks, okay, with your Divine Masculine? What are the blocks? What is blocking them from this connection? What is blocking your divine masculine this week? We have recovery. Okay, again, this is a continuing theme from last week. Last week, okay, they were recovering. They're still in recovery mode, guys. I really feel like they're truly working on themselves. So, if you guys were in communication and your Divine Masculine decides to drift away, it is not permanent, okay guys? They really need to take time out for themselves to really recover and only they can heal themselves, okay? You can help, but it's up to them, okay? They need to learn how to do self-love, self-care, okay, and recovery. Only they can recover from their own actions. That is their karma, okay? Let them deal with their own karma. All right, guys? And next we have growth. Your Divine Masculine uh, was not, you know, growing, you know, f uh, spiritually, okay? And also, uh, you know, uh, with their uh, emotions, okay? They were preventing that change and how they, you know, were feeling is what I'm, I'm getting. And they, they tried to, you know, stop their heart chakra from growing. And I really feel like it's because they were going through recovery. They were not fully healed. They're still going through their healing process. All right, guys. So if your Divine Masculine is recovering from a job loss or loss of anything, um, like dealing with third party situations, maybe it's, it's like, you know, a shift or breakup within their family or tribe. Okay. It could be that it could be with, you know, a karmic partner that they invested a lot of time into and they're recovering from that. Or, you know, this could be substance abuse. It could be alcohol, drugs. It could be sexual, you know, sexual, you know, um, 
you know, uh, dependency, okay, like, like being, uh, sexual with multiple people, okay, like anything that is negative, that is not really serving them in their highest and greatest good, they are recovering from that, okay, this could be, like, from controlling people in their life, and how they're being manipulated, and honestly, I really feel like whatever actions that the karmic did to your divine masculine, your divine masculine turned around and did the same thing to you. I guarantee it. The way they've been treated by their karmics is how they were, you know, treating you. And you were not deserving of that energy. They were just, you know, they, you know, you were easy target, okay? You know, they were trying to make everyone else happy except for you. And you were the one that was there for them this whole time. But now they are trying to fix that. They're trying to heal themselves, okay, and change and also with this growth, they did not grow, you know, from the connection. They were holding back, you know. So I really feel like, you know, they're going to come into awareness this week, guys, and continue to work on this so that they can open up their heart chakra and, uh, and grow, uh, you know, their love, you know, towards their divine feminine. I really see that, you know, slowly. It, it's going to happen. And here we have wisdom. Again, they did not have the wisdom that they have now. I feel like this week, they will gain that wisdom. But this is a block. They did not use their guidance, okay? That is why they are asking for it now, okay? If it was handed to them before and they did not see, now they are asking for that wisdom, guys, okay? They're trying to find the answers and they are recovering, you know, from their past is what I'm feeling. And here we have self-worth. Your Divine Masculine lacked self-worth, okay? They did not feel worthy of you, of themselves, or towards any other karmic situation, okay? This could be a job. This could be, you know, friends. This could be their family, whatever the case may be. They just feel like they're not worthy and that was a block and more importantly they see you for who you are they know you are like a beautiful or handsome you know being that is caring okay um, who love them unconditionally and they cannot believe that they had someone special in their life and they pushed you away for karmic situations that did not make them happy. They thought that, you know, that was going to be their happiness, you know, but they were lying to themselves, you know. And I really feel that your Divine Masculine is working on healing themselves this week so that they can get out of this low vibrational energy and, um, and they're going to see it for, for whatever it is. They're going to get out of this funk, guys. You know, I know with this uh, past uh, full moon, it, it hit everyone hard from what I know. Like, I even took a nap yesterday. I was so tired. I was like, oh my gosh. Am I sleeping again? Like, how am I taking a nap? I don't, I hate taking naps, you know. But I did yesterday and, you know, I don't know what it is. But, you know, I was tired some stuff right now and um i was feeling it for sure so you know this is all about uh self-worth guys okay they're working on themselves now so they can feel worthy so that they can extend their offer towards you so there might not be a lot of coming togethers this week more more than anything i feel like it's healing okay they really want to heal themselves, you know, whatever situations that they're in before they come back and approach you. But I really feel that they wish that they could be with you. They really do. They want to be with you, but they're not ready. All right. They're not ready yet. All right, guys. So those are uh, some really good messages that want to come through. All right. So what is the future potential outcome uh, for this week's energy? All right. So, we know that they're currently juggling, okay? They're cutting things out of their life. They're really working on themselves so that they can transform. You know, this week is like healing week, okay? I really see that they're still going through recovery and growth and 
learning about their self-worth and um i mean those are really big uh emotions okay that um that they're going through so just give your divine masculine light and love all right use mind to mind or heart to heart connection here we have eight of cups your divine masculine is walking away from a situation that is no longer serving them. We have been getting this card for the past, like, week, okay? Your divine masculine is walking away from a karmic situation that is no longer fulfilling them. Like, they feel empty, you know, in uh, whatever, you know, thing that they invested their time into. And, um, and I feel like they've done this within the passing of this full moon, okay? I feel like um, this was like this past weekend, all right? They walked away from this karmic. And now we have here the higher font. They're looking, okay, for this higher level of learning. They're looking for something more traditional. And I really feel that, you know, they want uh, to work on their spirituality. Okay, I really feel that because that is what was missing inside. It wasn't about, you know, finding their other half, you know, with another person. Your Divine Masculine is coming to terms with that. You know, um, if they did not learn to love themselves first, how could they love someone else or receive love from someone else when they feel lack? They have to feel whole on their own. This is very important. That is why, you know, this this action that your Divine Masculine is going through is actually really good, okay? This transformation is really needed in their life. They really need to figure out that nobody, okay, should be dependent on someone else for their true happiness, okay? That happiness comes from within, you know? When when two people come together and they're feeling whole, then that that is a beautiful energy, guys. You don't want to feel like, you know, you are hurt, okay? Or in a, in a place of, uh, you know, being needy because then they're gonna feel guilty, okay? And that is not the energy that they should be in. So let your Divine Masculine go, okay? Let them heal before they come back until they feel like they are worthy of your love, okay? And they have gained that spiritual wisdom, all right? And they have grown and also recovered from their past. That is when your Divine Masculine can come back to you correct, all right they really need to work on themselves you don't want them back prematurely okay just just hear me out i know you guys miss your divine masculine they miss you too but this is necessary they have to change they have to transform in order for this you know uh, reunion to work so that is what's going on. Your Divine Masculine is really thinking about this higher level of commitment, okay? After leaving something that is not emotionally fulfilling them, okay? They're going on that sabbatical, okay? That spiritual journey. And guess what? Whenever your Divine Masculine, you know, reaches that point where they have evolved spiritually, you're going to see a whole new Divine Masculine. And I guarantee you, when you guys come back together and you both are healed for the most part and feeling whole, that is going to be a beautiful union. Okay, guys, I can see this. It is hard. It really is. I know that people are, are really um, in pain. Okay, they are suffering. Okay, there, there's so much work. Okay, that still has to be done. You know, it, it doesn't end you know, up to a certain point. We are continually healing ourselves, all right? But for the most part, your Divine Masculine is truly healing, okay, in this now moment. I really feel it and I see it. And I really feel it's absolutely necessary for them to go through this energy so that they know, you know, um, that their Divine Feminine was the one for them, okay? So that they can come back correct and not just come and leave. Not the whole runner and chaser dynamic, but when they come back, it's for good. Okay, guys, that is beautiful. 
and here we have four pentacles okay they were really holding on to their stability and i feel like in the little grim reaper is saying no you can't sit on your ass anymore buddy you got to keep it moving and i see that in the uh current actions that they're going to take okay they're really going to go through this transformation this week guys okay let it happen okay they need to transform and change and for the ones that were holding on to their situations too tightly, the divine is going to step in and make it happen for them, okay? They can't sit on their ass anymore, okay? And wait, wait for the right time. The time is now, okay? A lot of divine masculines are going to be going through this. And so whether or not they, they want to deal with their own pain, okay, their suffering, and whatever else that they need to work on, it's going to happen, okay, guys? All right, so final message <laughs> we have here nine of cups, and the nine of cups, you know, came up in their actions that they're going to take, and it's in their final outcome. Here, Divine Masculine is really going to work on themselves, okay? They are really going to, you know, just focus on them and no one else, okay? let them do that guys they they need to learn to love themselves first they need to heal themselves okay and i really feel that divine masculines you know some of them might be overindulging okay they might be uh loving themselves way too much <laughs> is what i'm feeling but you know what aside from from this you know depiction i'm really feeling that you know, they are going to really put in the work on themselves, okay, guys? They know that they have to do that before they can approach their Divine Feminine, okay? Because they're not feeling good. They feel guilty, okay? That is what they're thinking. They're guilty of this third-party situation that they chose. And they're not happy. They're not happy because they chose the wrong thing, Okay, they made a, you know, a decision in the past that wasn't, you know, on the up and up, you know, they're learning, they're learning from their karma, guys, that is why they're trying to figure out who is their real family, okay, who is their, their tribe, is it all the people in their past, probably not. They might have a few that they're going to hold on to that are spiritual, okay? Your divine other has some spiritual friends just like you, okay? They're going to they're gonna stay close with those, but all the rest, they got to go because they know that they're just taking up space in their life and they probably don't really, you know, contribute to their spiritual growth, okay? And they might be feeding them, you know, information that is no longer vibrating with them, you know. And if your Divine Masculine is not awakened, they're going to get sucked back down to that low vibrational frequency, okay. But I really feel like, you know, all Divine Masculines, okay, have ascended to a certain point, okay. I know that everyone is, you know, um, you know, on their journey, you know, in a different level. But, you know, I really feel that most divine masculines are awakened okay and they're finally starting to see and i feel like this week your divine masculine will see the truth okay and their friends their family okay the people that they work with the job that they're dealing with okay and what what makes them happy and they're surrounded by all these people okay and they're not really happy guys you know, more than anything, they just want to be with you, but they know that they can't show up because of how much, you know, wrong that they've done to their Divine Feminine, and they know that they have to really work on themselves first before they can come back correct. All right, guys, so that is what I'm saying here for this week for Divine Masculines, all right? So... Let me go ahead and go through uh, the whole week, okay, um, and see what additional energies that want to come through. And I would like to introduce you to a new deck that I have received. It is called uh, the Dragon Tarot, okay, and um, this was gifted to me uh, by a subscriber. His name is Karen Hunter. Thank you. Um, 
He had uh, recently visited Ireland uh, for his spiritual sabbatical, right? And um, and he was really nice enough to uh, gift this tarot deck uh, to me. So uh, thank you, Karen, uh, for your lovely gift. And I will use it, you know, for the, the daily um, energies. So let's go ahead and get right into it. All right, so let's find out, okay, what additional energies that want to come through for Monday, all right? So that's today, guys, all right? So you know, if you're watching this video at a later time, you know, then that, that is exactly when you needed to watch this video, okay? Because, you know, time is fluid and energy changes, okay? So... Um, it's whenever you watch this video, okay, this should be resonant for you. So on Monday, what are we going to expect from our Divine Masculines? We have King of Swords, okay? So this was actually in the actions that your Divine Masculine is going to take this week, all right? So today, your Divine Masculine is going to, you know, possibly communicate. But I really feel like they're just going to cut things, people, places, and situations out of their life, okay? So that they can continue to heal themselves is what I'm getting, all right, guys? So... You know, I feel like your Divine Masculine has gained some sort of wisdom now. Before, they were blocked, okay? This was blocking the connection, but I really feel like they have, like, this higher awareness now um, to remove uh, some of those obstacles out of the way so that, you know, they could, you know, communicate clearly, okay? They're more focused, and um, I feel that um, now they're pretty sure about you know, themselves and what needs to be done, okay? So today is um, kind of like um, a clearing day, okay? That's what, what I see. Now on Tuesday, we have four wands. Your Divine Masculine may reach out towards you, okay? Um, and, you know, maybe invite you over to his home. Or, you know, I really feel that they want to come together with you. They may or may not express this towards you, but this is actually what they are wanting to do, okay? So they may not, you know, uh, tell you this, okay? They might, um, you know, probably hint at it if, if you're looking on their social media or something like that. But this is definitely very much in their mind. They are thinking about union, all right, guys? So that's beautiful. So today, they're cutting things out of their life, all right? Um, they may express their truth on Tuesday. They might talk about, hey, let's come together, you know, who knows? Um, but I really feel like, you know, they're probably going to be tending to their home also, okay? And, um... I feel like they're gaining uh, energy, okay, like their confidence, you know, to to really make that offer to their divine feminine. But I feel like you know, this is uh, this. I mean, this actually means action. But I feel like it's action towards you know getting union and order. But I don't think that your divine masculine is really going to communicate this to you, okay? That's what I'm feeling. Now on Wednesday. We have three of wands, okay? They are making a plan. <laughs> so, um, you know, what I'm getting is that, you know, your Divine Masculine um, is probably setting things in motion, okay? I feel like on Monday they have used that energy to clear the path so that they can make, you know, uh, this Four of Wands energy, okay, into like a reality. And on Wednesday, they are really thinking about it and they're planning for it, okay, guys? They're just waiting for the right time to come forward towards you is what I'm feeling. And on Thursday, we have two of wands, okay? So I must not have shuffled this really good because it's coming in sequential order. Your Divine Masculine is making a decision, 
okay and I really feel like you know they're they're making a decision to really choose the connection all right guys I really feel that and um, I feel like they're, they're they're taking the proper steps in doing so all right guys so I mean those are the uh, daily energies that I'm getting okay for this week and so that's beautiful all right so let me go ahead and end this reading with a lover's oracle all right let's see Oof. okay and this deck is always hard to shuffle <laughs> Just so that we can see what additional messages that want to come through, okay? From your Divine Masculine. Alright, we have one. Close your eyes and tell yourself that you deserve to feel joyful. You can allow joy into your life regardless of the circumstances you currently find yourself in. That is so beautiful. You know, your Divine Masculine wants to let you know that you deserve to feel happy. They are really sad, guys. They are really feeling sad about how they treated you, alright? Like, it makes them feel like crap, honestly. And they just want to let you know that... You know, you can allow, you know, joy and happiness into your life regardless of the circumstances that you're currently in. They want you to be happy, okay? And that is a very loving energy. Look at that. That heart chakra on that tree is glowing, guys. That was a block, you know, because they did not open up to that wisdom, okay? And they did not grow. They are learning, okay? They're learning from their past. And now, you know, that they're going through their spiritual journey or awakening, they're finally realizing, okay, who you are. And they're thinking about you. And more than anything, they just want you to be happy, okay? But they're really working on healing themselves first. So... I really hope you enjoyed today's reading. Um, thank you all for all your comments, your likes, your shares, and subscribes, and your wonderful donations. And um, if you're new to my channel, I provide daily, um, or actually in this case, weekly um, twin flame messages for the collective. And if you'd like to book a private reading, you can reach me on my website. It is www.scorpiomoonintuition.com. And you can also follow me on IG as Scorpio Moon Intuition. I hope you all have a wonderful week and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.